All right, I'm on hole number five of the East Coast Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division, playing in my 99 account. So I've got some low-level stuff here and just trying to get her done. Now, with my upper-level account, I come at this with a, with a sad excuse me, a Saturn and a Navigator. I'm trying to bring it back to the hole, but I don't have quite as much backspin here. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do my other shot with a backbone where I come down further down into the deal and I'm trying to bring it up to the cup. It's just another way of coming at it. I see a lot of people play this shot on this hole and it's not a bad way to come at it. I think I can get it done with a nav. We may have to change balls, but we'll start off with a navigator and see where we're at. Let's see if I have a Saturn in my bag just in case I need to switch real quick. If something doesn't look right. My teammates and I have been talking about the wind in this opening round. So the opening round wind, especially on hole number three, the wind's about two and a half miles an hour less than what it was in the qualifying round. So if you got a five power ball, it's, I'm not going to say it's impossible to get over, but it's, it's, you're less likely to get over because that little teeny bit of wind at the end is what pushed you out into that fairway. And you don't have that push anymore. So I'd be curious to see if in the weekend round, if they change that back, All right, 2.9, it's 1.5 per ring, so that's about a two ring pull. Just trying to hit it straight. Hitting it perfect. See if it'll hit that hill and bleed off down to the hole. Just got the angle just a little wrong. It's stopping spot. Because when it runs down the hill, it wants to run. It doesn't run straight down. It actually runs. It comes back towards you a little bit. And so you got to be a little bit farther, a little bit be past the cup so that when it hits and it rolls back down the hill, it'll come back to it. So go back and rewind that video and see where it hit, where the landing spot was. And you can work that number to be just a little bit farther back. try and get it so that it just drops right down in there but if you have lower developed stuff you're going to have you've got the deal with lower developed stuff is you got less ball guide so there's that's that's the issue you can't like track it all the way to the hole like you can when you've got a sniper if you've got some of these clubs that have great ball guide or when your clubs get upper developed so you have to look more for references on the course with the with the guide that you have so like looking at like the second bounce or the third bounce or the first bounce and like where it's at on the cut the green cuts Let's see if our opponent can recover that great to the right or left is discouraging that's why you don't want to be off now when you have lower developed stuff i mean I bring a Firefly, so I have a lot of confidence that I can get those kind of shots in. But the deal is, is that it, when you've got lower developed stuff, it's just tough. Upper developed stuff, you have a much better shot of making in those chip ins off the green. But with lower developed stuff, you could be in real big trouble. All right, that was hole number five. We've got somebody here we've caught up to. Look at hole. Look at this person right here. They're up two. They got the uh, eagle on three and the eagle on four. Let's see how they did when they qualified. Qualification minus four. They must have been in one of those no-name brackets that just got in. We've got somebody that's on the same track as us. They did the same thing. Eagle four. All right. Running into some of our competition on the way up. All right. That was hole number five of the East Coast Tournament. Thanks for watching.